Hey guys, welcome back. So today I thought it would be fun to take you along while I meal plan for the month of April. So back in January, I started planning meal planning monthly rather than weekly and it has been awesome. I definitely like planning for the whole month at once um, rather than planning out weekly, which is what I did previously. When I was planning out weekly, I just felt like I was getting into a meal planning rut and I just couldn't really think of new meals. I didn't really take the time to even look up new recipes or anything like that because it seemed a little overwhelming to me to have to do that every single week. Whereas now I sit down once a month and plan for the entire month so I can just look up the recipes that I want to try. And um, it's a really nice way to visualize your meals because I can see if I'm having too many meals too often or the you know, same meals too often. Um, and that sort of thing. So I really like it. I also like that I know what we're going to be needing as far as ingredients. So as soon as they go on sale, I can stock up for the month. So I'm finding it saving me a lot of money as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to meal plan for the month of April. So I have out all the stuff that I need right here on the dining room table. I have my computer, my planner, which is open to the month of April. I like referring to our schedule while I'm meal planning, just so that way I know what our schedule looks like, what are our busy days, what, you know, when we need to make meals that are less extensive or, you know, quick, fast, easy meals, that sort of thing. Um, and then I have my meal planner, which I absolutely love. I will leave a link below to where I got this. This is a Carrie L meal planner. It is amazing. I really, really love it. It has a month at a glance page. There's enough for the whole year. And then it has these menu and grocery list pages. So I really like this planner a lot. It's really working out well for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I did was I just went through our freezer and made sure um, that I knew exactly what we had left over for meat from the previous month so I can incorporate that into some meals for this month. So I have one package left of um, chicken drumsticks and I have two packages of ribs. So I know that those are ingredients that I will use to meal plan. Um, make a few meals for April. So now I'm just going to use my computer and look up a few new recipes. I am loving crock pot cooking right now. It's definitely what works best for us in the season of life. So basically what I do is I just go on Pinterest or Google and I just search for crock pot recipes and sometimes if I know I have specific ingredients like the chicken drumsticks or ribs or something like that, I'll just search for ingredients with those keywords or if there are certain ingredients that I know we want to try like this month um, we're trying to stay away from red meats I'm not completely but just cut down on it so I'm going to look um, up some recipes that don't include red meat so that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to take my piece of paper that I have over here and I'm going to start um, jotting down meal ideas and new recipe ideas that I a few meals some of them are new some of them are just meals I know that our family likes and I like to just have sort of a list to go off of when I'm plugging in meals for the month so I'm going to try a new vegetable soup recipe a garlic chicken leg um, garlic chicken leg recipe which is new also pulled pork sandwiches with guacamole that's not a new recipe that's just one I know that we like and I can use the rib meat for that um, shrimp Creole which is a new recipe that I want to try Chicken tacos, which is not new, just like it. <laughs> Pasta fajol soup, barbecue ribs, chicken with couscous, stuffed shells, and ham and lentil soup. So here's just a you know short little list that I can refer to if I get stuck. And here is what last month looked like. 
I do use a little bit of color coding just to help me visually see the month better. So I use a regular blue pen um, just for the you know general meals. I use orange for crock pot meals, so anything that's in orange is a crock pot meal. I use my pink pen for special occasions and holidays that I know I need to do a little bit of extra planning for. And then I use my purple pen and I usually just do a little star to indicate that it's a new meal. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start filling in my month. And I have my April calendar here, so I'm just going to refer to this calendar and our schedule when planning out the meals for the week or the month. done meal planning for April and it feels so good to know that I have a plan for the entire month. I don't have to do this every single week. It's all done in one shot. So we are going to have Friday nights are usually our takeout nights. Once a week we like to do takeout. It's just an easy fun night for us. We don't have to worry about dinner. Um, so we usually do Friday takeout. Saturday the 2nd we are going to do chicken with couscous and a veggie. Sundays are usually Sunday dinner with my parents and we just take turns getting the ingredients and planning the meals so I don't really plan ahead too much on Sundays um, just because it's sort of up in the air as far as what we're doing and that sort of thing um, but Monday I'm going to be trying the shrimp creole recipe from the Food Network which is a new recipe I'm going to try Tuesday the 5th barbecue ribs and pasta salad Wednesday we have an event at the school it's a dinner to raise money for field trips and that sort of thing so we'll be there for dinner Thursday um, cilantro lime chicken tacos which is a crock pot meal one of our favorites Friday takeout again Saturday we have a big canoe race thing here in town so we're going to be going to a friend's um, barbecue Sunday the 10th it's my uncle's birthday so we might be going to his house for dinner um, but again I just marked it a Sunday dinner Monday the 11th pasta fajol soup with dinner rolls Tuesday the 12th garlic chicken legs from food.com that's a new recipe I'm going to try with the drumsticks that I have in the freezer already on the 13th which is a Wednesday we're gonna have stuffed shells with salad and garlic bread Thursday the 14th ham and lentil soup Friday the 15th so this is the first week of their the um, 16 starts their spring vacation for the kids so the 15th we is a Friday we're not going to do takeout that night I'm going to save it for Saturday night because we'll probably do something special with the kids so on Friday we're going to do pulled pork and guacamole sandwiches with the salad excuse me Saturday we're going to do takeout probably go out to a restaurant or do something fun with the kids on Saturday night Sunday the 17th Sunday dinner again 
Monday the 18th, I have that day off from daycare, and so we'll probably do BLTs. The kids love making BLTs. They love having BLTs. So we'll do BLTs and fries on Monday. Tuesday, I'm going to do a big pot roast dinner with dinner rolls. Wednesday, Italian chicken with salad and pasta. Thursday, vegetable soup, which is a new recipe from all recipes online. Um, Friday, takeout. Saturday, homemade pizza with fruit salad. Sunday the 24th, again Sunday dinner. Monday the 25th, we'll do chili with Tostitos. Tuesday the 26th, I like to make two meals out of my chili. So I'm gonna make stuffed peppers with the chili, the leftover chili, and add Spanish rice to that. So that will be our meal for Tuesday the 26th. Wednesday the 27th, we're gonna do buffalo chicken sandwiches with pasta salad. Thursday the 28th, hot dogs and salad. Um, Friday the 29th, takeout, and Saturday the 30th, we're going to do the cilantro lime chicken tacos again. So, I am done for the month of April for meal planning. It feels awesome. I didn't repeat meals too often. Um, I know that we have a good variety of things that kids like. We have a few meals, that, new meals that we're going to try mixed in there. So, I'm really excited about my meal planning monthly. So, now what I do is now that I have my month plan when it comes to when I make my list for the grocery store because I still do grocery shop once a week it's just easier for me I have a family of five and I run a home daycare I've tried shopping you know less frequently it just doesn't work for us so what I do is I refer back to this page and I will write down all of the meals that we're going to be having for the week right here I take this section out because this is perforated. So this side right here, I don't know if you can see it. Let me find it here. Um, my camera's not focusing, but right here, there's a perforate, perforated line. So this grocery list can be taken off. And then this menu section, so you can see it, I took off a few already. Um, that gets taken off also. And I hang this part right on my fridge because people ask me all the time, how do I stick to my meal plan? I put this on my fridge and it's a, just a daily reminder of the meals that we're going to be having and I just stick to it. I just make sure that's what we prepare for dinner. And by doing crock pot meals, I make it in the afternoon or in the morning and it's done by dinner time. So I don't know, it's just pretty easy for me to stick with our meal plan if I have it right in front of me as a reminder every single day. So each week a new one of these gets put on our fridge and that's a good reminder for everyone in our family so that way everyone knows what we're having for dinner and it's a good way for me to prepare for the week. And then I take my grocery list to the grocery store weekly and that's it. So I am done meal planning for the month of April. And yeah, that's how I do it guys. So I would love to hear about how you guys meal plan. Do you meal plan monthly? Do you meal plan weekly, bi-weekly? Um, what works for you? I'd love to hear, hear about it. This year I'm really into meal planning. I just feel like it makes life so much easier when you meal plan and you just have things sort of prepared ahead of time. So that is how I meal plan monthly. I'm going to leave the link below um, for this meal planner. I love it. It makes my life so much easier. I'll probably do a full walkthrough in a different video. Um, I just was sitting down today to meal plan and I wanted to show you guys sort of my process and how I do that. So I hope that you guys are all having a wonderful week or a day or whatever and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching.